Welcome back. The recent survey conducted in the plains of Lakes Chilwa and Chiwuta indicate that the imminent threat of the red locusts has been eliminated. The plains were hit by the outbreak of red locusts late last year and members of the communities around these plains were worried of the multiplication during the rain season. More in this report. Due to its alternating plains and higher climatic temperatures, these Lake Chirua Chiuta plains remain favorable breeding ground of red locust in the whole region of southern Africa. On the 31st December 2013, through Lake Chirua Basin Climate Change Adaptation Program, with support from the Royal Kingdom of Norway, I embarked on a fact-finding tour to Nkwata village T.A. Mposa in Machinga, where a local Chikala radio listening club noticed little swarms of red locust. Indeed, their fears were confirmed by what we captured during the visit. <laughs> Soon after broadcasting the news on this channel, government through the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security realized the threat and devastating damage which can be caused by the fully blown outbreak of the locust. The ministry, in conjunction with the Food and Agriculture Organization, secured funding from UN Humanitarian Fund to carry out the locust survey and control in the Lake Chirua and Chihuahua plains. The confirmation of existence of swarms through the aerial surveys necessitated the need for control operations and using hired aircrafts, biochemicals were sprayed and latest round of spray being from 16th to 17th August 2014. And Dr. George Piri, working with FAO Malawi, says through this operation, most of the threat has been eliminated and adds that the outbreaks of pests are currently on the increase, resulting in compromised food security situations for many vulnerable farmers. The bark of the red locust, the swarms have been removed. Uh, I would put it at a 70-85 percent level of control, meaning that there are still a few leftovers. There's no method of control uh, for insect pests that will remove them 100 percent. So what the communities are telling you that a few which have, have been left over is correct and is expected. Those populations will remain in the wetland. They will not form swarms, they will not fly out, but they will breed and create a new population of red locust. And that is a natural phenomenon. This is the home of red locust, as you, you know, this is a known breeding ground for red locust. Director of Crops Development in the Ministry of Agriculture and Irrigation, Dr. Godfrey Shingoma, says although these plains are breeding ground for red locust, members of the communities should continue to monitor any re-emergence. Threat of the locusts moving, migrating to fields of rice, for example, even to sugarcane farms, to irrigated crops of maize and so on, has been reduced uh, so much so that the situation is under control. But we still keep monitoring uh, uh, the locusts because around February, that's when we get the hoppers, the young stages, uh, uh, emerging from the egg stages. So around February, March, we'll do another survey to see the extent of uh, uh, the uh, population build-up. Program coordinator for Lake Chirua Basin Climate Change Adaptation Program, Professor Sosten Chiwota, says it is pleasing to note that many reputable international organizations, such as Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, are coming to the basin with different interventions. So when you see uh, synergies building up, in terms of us working with the Ministry of Agriculture and FAO coming forward, and even the Lead Locust Centre in Lusaka, which also came, I think that's the kind of cooperation that we need in order to deal with the uh, issues of climate change. The post-assessment report conducted on 18th of August 2014 shows that there are also substantial concentrations of Lead Locust along the international border of Mozambique, an indication that there may be swarms across the border, hence the need to work together with Mozambique government to further 
eliminate the threat. Emmanuel Tuwala, MBC News, Machinga.